Hey there all croft beer lovers, very much welcome to another beer review. We are packing our bags once again guys, heading towards Stockholm, to Stockholm Brewing Company. And they have teamed up, so this is collaboration beer, they have teamed up with uh, Glow, or Global Ladies of War, which is kind of a Swedish female brewer initiative, uh, involving more women in the craft beer industry, so it's kind of a female collective uh, of brewers. And they have teamed up with Stockholm Brewing Company for their, this one. Let it glow, New England IPA. Hey, it's the New England IPA brewed in collaboration with Glow, Cryo Hops, Equanot and Simcoe, Yakima Chief Hops, and HBC 472, clocking in at 7%, 440ml can. There we go. The artwork, I mean, doesn't really, you know, excite me at all. Just, you know, very plain kind of. Uh, postmodern. There we go. Let's give it a pop, see what we get. So, there we go. Good little smoke. Uh, all right. So, uh, so this, uh, this glow collective of female brewers, uh, I, I reviewed a beer that they did in the collaboration with Steg by at Spriggeri out of Gothenburg. This now they're they have teamed up with Stockholm Brewing Company. So, let's see how this one fares. Uh, there we go. Right. Carbonated number. Uh, almost three fingers worth of head. Bright white shining. No... Uh, yeah, it's basically no bubbles on top. There we go. Yeah. AC enough. Looks quite decent, I would say. Aroma. Yeah, certainly I get apricots on the nose. Sweet apricots. Hint of orange. Slightly tropical. Little bit of a sharp note to, to the aroma as well. Sharp fruitiness perhaps. Okay. So with that said, guys, we will just have to dive in. Cheers, everybody. Okay, so it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Um... What kind of strikes me the most with this beer right away is that it is very fruit forward and it's quite it's definitely an acidic touch to it as well. So uh, very fruity, slightly acidic. So there's certainly a, a, an acidic element to it. But I mean it's okay. It's certainly okay. A little bit of a sharp carbonation there to be fair. I don't like that. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's not a bad beer. Mid-level body. Quite decent. Easy drinking. But uh, with a very, very fruit-forward approach and a acidic tone to it as well. Let's get the rest of that beer out. See if we can change the, uh, the beer a little bit, perhaps. Adding a, the sediments there. <laughs> On the bottom of the can. All right, so we are out. Uh, there we go. Still a pink is worth of head. Bright white shining. Uh, a little bit more hazy, perhaps. I mean, decent. Very decent. Final sip. Mm. I mean, yeah, it's not bad. Quite fruity, apricots, peaches, a little bit of marmalade, uh, and they got a, a, a kind of an acidic element to it as well. A uh, little bit of a dry back end, 
quite sharp carbonation, but overall for me, this is a decent beer. Uh, Stockholm Brewing Company doing good beers overall, and they have teamed up, as I said, with Glow, Glow or Global Ladies of Wart. Uh, and this is their uh, Let It Glow New England IPA. For me, quite decent actually. Not bad. A little bit different. Uh, I'm going to give it a 3.75 out of 5. Thank you for watching.